All right. I'm glad this held my weight. Wasn't sure I was going to. Yeah, so this week's video is going to be a little different than my previous template I go by. I kind of just fell short this week, uh, or this past week, and I just neglected to really put anything out. I just didn't do anything that I really thought was worth creating a video out of. I mean, even, even what I'm doing right now I don't think is worth making a video out of, but I'm solely doing this just to keep myself accountable and post something to the platform. I'm trying to use this as a motivator uh, to, to hold myself accountable. And if I don't post something, I said I was going to post something once a week. So if I don't post something once a week, I, you know, I failed. Um, I might have failed at making some grandiose video that I've been trying to, and by grandiose, I mean to my abilities, but I might have failed at doing that this week, but that's why I'm forcing myself to sit here and talk to the camera and at least post something. And I think that has a lot to do with something I want to talk about in, a, in another video, which is perfectionism. How, how holding yourself to some ideal and not doing anything because you don't find your work to reach that ideal or not even starting because you don't think you can reach that ideal is holding you back. And I'm just kind of tired of, I'm tired of it. I, I've, I've done that the past several years where I start something, I get kind of good at it, but not good enough. And then I just stop doing that thing or I don't even start something. I, an example is YouTube, because what am I gonna talk about on here, you know? I've had all the same fears that I'm sure plenty of other people have had when, you know, thinking about starting something like this. And I'm just tired of that controlling my life. And, wow, it is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I really, it is such a nice, it's not like the nicest day, also peep the feats. Got a little, got trying to do a little grounding, even though I'm not on the ground right now. But what was I talking about? Perfectionism? Yeah, I, um, I saw this book. Um, I was at a cafe a couple weeks ago, and I saw this book on the counter that somebody, I, I didn't know who it was, but it just was this bright red book with bold font on it that just said, change or die. And that was like one of, that was probably the most aggressive way I could have heard what I needed to hear, but that's kind of been my motto since then. And as difficult as that is to do, it's necessary. Otherwise, I'm just going to stay in the same place I've always been. I don't even really know what the point of this video is outside of me just forcing myself to put something out. I think it's also me holding up to that change or die motto. Even earlier in the day when I was like, ah, normally I post on Mondays or Tuesdays. It's Monday, I have nothing to post. And that voice in my head, the voice in my head was just like, ah, screw it, just like, just take this week off and post something next week, like, it's fine, nobody cares. Which may, may as well be true, but that's not the mentality I'm, I'm, I'm striving to have anymore. And, you know, it's really difficult to get out of those patterns, but you're the only one that can really get yourself out of those patterns. So, as much as it sucks to say, if you fail to change, then that's, that's on you. And I'm, I'm sick and tired of just being disappointed in myself. I feel like there's, there's maybe like a lot of pressure too with social media, especially. You know, you, you gotta make something of yourself or you, you gotta be heard. And everybody has something to say. And it's really easy to just put yourself down and say, yeah, I mean, what I have to say is not that important. But I feel like for me, the more I've seen people be vulnerable on these platforms, talk about what they're going through, and not acting as if they have it all together, and instead embracing their shortcomings and talking about how they're feeling and how they're trying to go about changing their circumstance, the more I feel inspired and inclined to actually take a, take a stance and do something different with how I'm living my life. You know, I don't think I could have done this inside. Like, it is so nice out, and just being out here makes me feel super relaxed, super calm. 
I don't know how much of the stream you can hear in the background. I hope I, I hope you hope it doesn't mess with the audio too bad. I'm not an audio guy. Clearly, uh, we've been screwing around with audio in my videos, and you know, some are good, some of the mixes are not so good. We're learning. This is all a learning process. I think that's another thing I wanted to talk about is this channel isn't like, I don't believe I have some exceptional skill in video making or even photography for that matter. I really enjoy photography and I to an extent enjoy filmmaking. I think doing it in this capacity is a little challenging, but I think it's a good challenge. Documenting your life is weird. Uh, documenting other people's lives isn't so weird to me for some reason, but documenting my own is definitely weird. I feel like this video is gonna be all over the place. I have no structure for this whatsoever. I literally just brought my camera out to nowhere and uh, I just decided, I was like, we're gonna make something and Hopefully we can scrounge some sort of video together from it so I'm not failing. And yeah, maybe that's the whole point of this video is me not allowing myself to fail. Yeah, I was just gonna say screw it and just let it let it slide and you know I'll just take care of it next week. But I've come to know myself well enough that if I just let it slide and let it go to next week, I probably wouldn't have made anything for next week and the week after that. So that's a dangerous slope that I'm trying to stay away from. I think the main reasons, I, I keep feel, feel like I say main reasons multiple times in this, so forgive me, but the main reasons uh, I'm doing any of this is accountability, practicing filmmaking. Like any artist, I want more people to see my stuff. It's less so about, I just want to share the art. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be a YouTuber per se. It didn't even really start out this way, but even the couple videos I made where I kind of went into deeper topics using my video and photos as like catalysts for that. I've had people reach out and say how much they appreciate the things I made and that it was inspiring them or encouraging them to get out of a rut or make them look at where they're at differently. Essentially like all the same things that I'm trying to convince myself of because that's all these are for me is I'm, I'm trying to use this as a platform to, to cr create what I'm looking for, but also share my work and my experience. And in a way, like talk about the things that I need to talk about out loud more and make them reality. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of power in spoken word. And I've spent, I've spent many years just speaking very negatively of myself or what it was I was doing or just being really hard on myself for literally no reason. And these are my attempts at making myself reflect, find out what it is I truly believe about myself and the things I'm doing and remind myself that I'm all right and speak truth to power, not in some like grandiose political sense, but just to my own, you know, cynic and just try to try to shut him up. I think that goes back to the change or die quote that I saw, which is like, I can do that and I can change and become happier and more positive and a more enjoyable person to be around, or I could stay where I was and just be a negative, cynical, miserable person. Yeah, I just don't want that anymore. So it's uh, change or die.